YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. You got it locked to Television 87. You're hanging out with your girl Telly right now. I'm back with another video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, just stopping by for the first time, do me a favor, hit me with that like, that thumbs up button, and make sure to smash that subscribe button so we can get more people to the Television crew. Now, it has just been announced a few hours ago. Portia Williams will be departing from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Honestly, I don't think this comes as much of a surprise because after the whole Simon and Fallon and Jalen situation, most people like were, you know, thinking that it may be time for her to go because this next season, if she would have stayed, it would have been all about her and Simon and her trying to figure out the timeline of everything. And it just, it wouldn't have been the best look let's keep it real wouldn't have been the best look for Portia but it is what it is her and Simon seem to be happy and Fallon and Jalen seem to be happy so all is well that ends well right but she took to her Instagram now we saw the other day that Cynthia decided to go ahead and go and you know I will miss Cynthia but I think it was time for her to go. She found her happily ever after with Mike Kill. There's not, there's not much else really, you know, that's going on. The Wells off to college. Her and Leon, like they're cool, so there's no drama there or anything like that. And she doesn't really beef with any other of the other castmates like that. So I believe it was time for Cynthia to go. It's, she'll be just fine. You know what I'm saying? Waiting to see what she does next. But this is the statement that Portia wrote on her Instagram. She says, after 10 life-changing, gratifying, incredible years, it is finally time to begin my next chapter. Next season, I will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. This was a difficult decision to not only make, but also come to terms with. It's one I have put a lot of thought into, and because of that, I know it's the right one. I want to thank Bravo, Truly Original, and Andy Corn for this opportunity and all the show's producers editors and assistants for working tirelessly every day to create our show she goes on to say i have so much love and endless gratitude for my bravo family and supporters you've made the past decade a truly special one one where I've dealt with unbelievable highs and unbelievable lows. And I can honestly say I would not have made it through some of them without the unconditional love and support I have gotten from all of you. Don't worry though, I'll be back on your TV very soon. I can't wait to share all of my exciting new endeavors with the world beginning with the world beginning with the release of my memoir the pursuit of Portia out on November 16th as for the rest you'll just have to wait and see love you the pursuit of Portia hashtag Decatur girl it's been 10 years man that's crazy time flies I remember when she first came on that 265 days <laughs> a year and Nene was like bitch what <laughs> Nene was like, bitch, what uh, planet are you living on? That was so funny, child. And her and Cordell and her talking about she don't want to go to the strip club. Oh, my God. She has come a long way. That Cordell was something else. Mm. What is Cordell up to these days? Anybody know what's going on with Cordell? Y'all, child, somebody find him. Somebody find him and let me know what's happening. And then with the whole situation with her and Dennis getting together really quickly and then having baby PJ, then it kind of, you know, kind of not working out. And then in between the the contract, <laughs> the, the boyfriend contract she had with that guy, what was his name? Todd or something like that. And then, yeah, who else was she seeing? I don't remember. If y'all, oh, that really young football player she was with for like a little bit of one season. I forget his name, but y'all remember who I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, man, this has been a long 10 years. So it's it's going to be different without her. I'm, I mean, Portia definitely had some moments, okay? Her and Kenya, bad ashy. 
and all of that going back and forth and then when her and Nini got into it and then oh you can't forget Candy and that whole oh my gosh that whole situation with her and Candy and then Phaedra and then it coming out oh my gosh it has been so much and then you know me and her mom and then her sister Lauren Wow, what are some of what are some of your favorite Portia moments? Drop them down in the comments. It's a lot, <laughs> and then her getting into it with Marlo and her crying over her welcome mat. Chill, it's just been so much going on. But she recently, Portia also recently left this Dish Nation. So rumors, word on the street is she's gonna be getting her own show. Like she said, we'll just have to wait and see. And, um, yeah, man. So, of course, Bravo. He put, what a run, what an evolution. As we discuss, I'm going to go ahead and consider this more of a pause than a goodbye. Do y'all think Portia will come back to the Housewives of Atlanta? Do y'all think? Because, I mean, Nimi has gone and come back. Sheree has gone and come back, I think, like two times. There's, you know, people have been wanting to get Phaedra back on, but Candy kind of blocks that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. She might be back. Carlos King, their producer. Boy, did we make some magic together over the years. Create a princess of Thalanya. <laughs> and oh yeah, who said that? Oh man. Giselle Bryant from Potomac put onwards and upwards. Shamari DeVoe meant y'all somebody please convince Shamari DeVoe to come back. That one season was hilarious. When she was cutting up at that party when she she threw up on Eva's shoes and was dancing and she was drunk. That shit was so funny. Oh my god. Please Shamari come back. But she put on to the next chapter. I'm sure it will be an amazing one. Candy, I was hoping you weren't for real leaving. Wishing you the best and all you've got going on. Oh man, Toya from Married to Medicine. If you're not evolving, then what's the point? I can't wait to see what's next. So, everybody's being supportive i mean she like i said it was a decade so she's been on there for a long time and the cast you know it needs it needs a shake up so there's nothing wrong with that but yeah i'm interested to see what portia has coming down a pike next y'all let me know if you are gonna get her book i will probably get it i'll check it out to see what's you know what's what in that book let's see what her other picture is oh, okay this is the official statement oh man <laughs> oh it, oh i almost forgot that whole situ with, situation with bolo oh my god how could i forget that that situation with bolo and everybody and king is nosy ass trying to go down there and see what happened Ciao. <laughs> oh man that was good stuff good 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 but all things must come to an end but anyway let me know what you guys think about it Portia is leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let me know your favorite Portia moments. Drop it down in the comments. Hit me with that like that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video. All right. It's your girl Telly. Television A7 is the channel. And make sure to smash that subscribe button for me so we can get more people to the television crew. All right. And I'll be back with another video for you guys soon. Until then, peace.